what's going on YouTube thanks for joining me for another video here on the project as you know the holidays are amongst us and Black Friday hit what did you go out and buy well I'm just gonna give a quick video hopefully not too long on some of the stuff that I saved a bunch of money on first off I went to Burton Racing and they have got or should I say had a fantastic deal on some of their products I got the ultimate tuning package which included a Honda P28 installed with Honda Rules coil-on plug kit. So I got the P28 here, I got the wiring harness for coils on my plugs. I also got K20 plugs, a coil plug plate, and also got a three bar map sensor, which is awesome. Really good deal, saved a few hundred bucks on this package. They installed everything for me, I don't have to worry about it. Quality looks fantastic. We'll hope that plug and play works fantastic. Moving on, I got a great deal on this VMS distributor cap, cover, delete, whatever you want to call it. Got that for a reasonable deal. I really would have liked to have gone with a speed factory kit, but I wasn't willing to pay the extra money. We're going to try this one, and if I like it, we'll move on. If I don't, maybe it'll be a giveaway. So, Next I went on to a company I did not even consider when purchasing anything for my fuel needs for this vehicle. I always like my AEM products, but I got a fantastic deal on Graham's fuel injectors, fuel pump, and a fuel pressure gauge. So we've got like 420, 440cc injectors on this bad boy right now. We're going to get rid of those because they have the resistor box that, that are required. I'm going to get rid of those and we'll move with some 550s. A little bit of an upgrade. It is not probably the most common out there for people who want to seek huge power. I'm not seeking that right now. I'm just trying to get stable, reliable, good power that can compete, but also give me the ability to run ethanol. I've got a ethanol friendly 320 liter per hour fuel pump. And I, came, I got the gauge as well. All these were on sale, saved a lot of money. Black Friday deals were very generous this year. Yonaka, if you haven't heard of them or you're not very familiar with it, Yonaka Motorsports sells a little bit of things or a little bit of everything. It seems that way anyway. But I got a great deal on a dual radiator with a slim shroud and some low pro fans. So that's awesome. I got a great deal on that as well. Um, I went to xenocron.com and I really like their uh, I really like their platform. They sell a lot of cool items, kind of a mix of all. I was gonna go with their fuel injector kit, which had the ID one uh, 1050 cc injectors, which is a bit much for my knees. I'm not turbocharged, pushing out like 35 psi. I'm literally doing nine pounds off this supercharger, and that's. It's a fun nine pounds. Went on to Xenochrome. I got a great deal on an official KS tuned manual tensioner, which I'm going to be replacing the non official. It's more of an aftermarket. I went on there. I got that. And I got this clear cover for this Honda S300 P28. Looks great. Really adds to the. Uh, authentic look to your ECU. Hopefully we'll find a way to mount that in the cockpit of the car and it'll look real nice. Anyway, moving on. All these options were really nice. They saved me a lot of money. I advise you, if you're going to buy a bunch of stuff, wait. Black Friday deals. Man, these things were fantastic. I could not believe the money I saved in total. Now, yeah, you saved maybe $300 here or there, but overall, I saved a lot of money. The one thing I did enjoy about these products, uh, these companies that were selling, was that I managed to get some really cool shirts, um, $10 shirts. Now, that's cheap. You can barely buy a $10 shirt at Walmart. So that was awesome, something else to consider. But we got to install all this stuff. So we got to tear this thing apart again, and I want to videotape it record and we're going to find out what we got and what how much fun this is or what kind of problems we discover along the way 
So shout out to all these companies for good deals this year. And uh, I advise you save your money throughout the year after the uh, race time, which is usually in the summer and spring and a little bit of the fall. But here it's pretty cold, get a little snow. One thing I will say about the uh, Burton Racing Kit that I did buy, and I can't really complain, but the coil plug plate is a little different than the one I kind of want. And I want the KS tune, and I'll tell you why. This one sits on top of the coils and mounts down, adding compression, pushing this uh, these coils down. And since the K now, the KS tune is different. It sits down farther in the galley and requires you to mount the plugs to the plate itself to keep them in place like that. These, on the other hand, sit down on top and hold the coils downward. I don't really like that. I don't like the way it looks and I don't really care for the way it feels. On a couple of the areas of the, of the valve cover, I've got to trim this section of the coil, and I don't really like that. I don't want to trim these, so I'm probably going to invest in a KS tune, or if I can find a cheaper alternative, a KS tune coil on plug plate. So nothing against them. I don't really care for it, but hey, it came with the kit, so I can't complain. So I hope your holidays went well. I hope that the new year brings you much joy. And I'll try to keep bringing videos if you're interested still. Subscribe, like, comment. I love comments, even if they're negative. I mean, really, what are you going to do? We'll have comments all the time that are negative or positive. It doesn't really matter. I'm here to discuss and learn and discover about this car and everybody else's on YouTube. That's my biggest interest. I'm going to try to do a couple a month. If I can't do videos that often, I apologize. One thing I will say is keep on wrenching and getting your cars going for the next year. I hope you're having fun and you saved a bunch of money. Right on YouTube. I can't eat my heart.